All right, guys, we're back. I got this set of uh, 062 Voltec heads that uh, blasted them up, sandblasted them the other day. And uh, I want to check them for cracks. I've been seeing all this different stuff about it. So I got this uh, Dynaflux crack check, PF penetrant, and some. Uh, developer you know it's uh, supposed to supposed to show you the cracks uh, it says you know we need to clean it so I mean they're pretty clean but we got to spray them down with some brake clean and then wipe them down and that the guy told me that at the welding shop that sells it said that they had a cleaner said but really Brake clean would do them if the if the heads were clean, <clears throat> basically clean. Sandblasting would, you know, where I had sandblasted them. That uh, carburetor cleaner or brake clean would do them would do fine. So we're going with that. Um, said use lint free tiles to wipe up with so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm doing but before I uh, pull the studs and drill and tap them you know and cut the bosses down on them and all of them make sure that they're, they're okay Okay. <clears throat> and they're gonna fall in our ass, gonna kill me. Oh, a thin coat, six to twelve inches away. Spray one moving dog on crawl. Okay. Color, pretty color red. Sure, it don't smell very good, though. Anyway, that says. Females of contamination allow one to thirty minutes drying time. All right. We're not gonna sit here and watch it dry, guys. I'll get back with you in a few minutes and we'll see what happens here. All right. All right, guys. Let's see if we can't clean this stuff. Just spray it on. Brake cleaner, brake clean on the tile. And wipe it up. Try to give it a whirl here. See what it, how it comes out. I'm hoping you know they're not cracked, but you never know. Yeah, I kind of have to think. They took them off. 
took them heads off the motor for a reason. The trick is, what was the reason? figure this is cheaper than going to the machine shop and whatever amount. So have a magnaflux. I've never done this before so I really don't know. Always up for something new. Don't hurt the line. messes about like any seas. I believe you could paint a house with a little jar of it. let it dry a little bit it says shake this stuff for two to three minutes we did that hold spray even nozzle or even coat six to twelve inches away from area allow developing time five to fifteen minutes
We'll give it five minutes or so and I'll be right back. All right, guys. We've sat here and let this developer, I don't know what the stuff's called. Yeah, developer dry. And uh, I'm not seeing no cracks anywhere. I mean, I see stuff there, but there's little divots in the where the heads are going to have to be shaved. You know, little gasket material stuff, I reckon it is. I don't know. But they're going to be shaved anyway. But anyway, typically from what I'm understanding, they're cracking, you know, between the valve guides and from these water jackets. Bow hole or something of that sort, you know. But I'm not seeing nothing that leads me to believe any of that's, that's going on. So it looks to me like they're, they're worth trying. You know, let's get, get y'all a little closer look. But anyway, it should show up almost like those. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But the red divots and stuff like you see right there, you should see a crack coming from a water jacket or something. You know, over towards it, but I'm not seeing none of that. So it's, I'm gonna say these heads are all right, at least this one anyway. This one, I don't think I got as much, I think I left enough of some, I don't think I got to penetrate off real well. I mean, because I'm seeing a little. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but there's little pink places left all in it. I may clean this one up and do it again, just for the sake of knowing, but I'm not seeing anything that would be an issue. Looks fine to me. So I'm going to take, you know, 10, 20 thousandths off these heads, clean that up. 30 thousandths, whatever it's going to take. See, that's where I sat there and rubbed it. See, there was some pitting right there. I'm thinking of getting them shaved and get that cleaned up. And it'll be fine. So, all right, guys. Well, that's just a short one of trying these Magna, what is this stuff called? Magnaflux makes it crack check. Um, but that's what it's for. For checking cracks in metal. So, um, I got it at uh, our local air gas store, welding supply place. I think it was $10 a can, something like that. Nine, ten dollars I can't remember exactly what it was. But 20 bucks in it. And you can do a bunch with that $20. So now, you know, you don't feel bad about taking them to a machine shop and have something done to them. Feel like they're, they're okay. Anyway, guys, there's another step on these Vortec heads. All right, see y'all later.